Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Welcome. Join me because today we're making a Carrick Bend paracord bracelet and we're making it with a loop and knot closure. Start by finding the center of both of your pieces of paracord and then just using one of them form an overhand loop. So just form an overhand loop, making sure that these strands here don't cross. Then grab your other piece and lay it across that loop. You want to take this underneath and then over the top. And we just want to weave it through the center here. So we want to come up and then down. And just draw that together. Now we want to feed slack through this knot so that this loop here is equal in length to these two pieces here. So just pull a little bit through and then pull on the loop and then just feed this bit by bit through the knot. So now we have these around about equal in length. We can move over to the other side and do the same thing. So just pull some slack through here and then pull on the other end. We'll do that until these are equal length as well. So that's a little about right. I'm still going to have to do a little bit of adjustment. So I've gone ahead and made sure all the strands are equal length and then you just want to go ahead and tighten down that center carrick bend and then move to one side and we just want to cut the center of this loop. So grab a pair of scissors and then just cut that loop and then move back to the carrot bend and we just want to gather these cords here and the way I'm going to do that is using a double connection knot. So just pinch the cords off and then grab the lower cord, take it over all of them and then around the back forming a loop. And then you just want to take your working end, tuck it through that loop and then pull on the bottom section of the knot and tighten it down. But leave this bottom loop open. Next we want to work with this top cord here. We want to reach underneath the two center cords, grab the top cord and then take it all the way around forming its own loop take it all the way to the front and then tuck this working end through both of those loops Then we want to switch to our original strand and tighten our first knot down. Switch strands again and tighten the second knot down over the top of the first. Just making sure it goes over this part here. So it forms an X shape. And there should be that same shape over the other side. Then we just want to maneuver this knot a little bit closer to the carrick bend and then tighten it down.
Okay, when you're happy with this one, we need to cut off these two center pieces. So I'm going to get the outer strands out of the way. Cut these two center ones off and singe them off with a lighter. Just get the ends nice and molten and then press them nice and flat. And now we're going to tie another double connection knot. So start with the bottom strand, form a loop, and then tuck the working end through that loop and pull it closed. And then we want to form a loop with the other strand. So take that around the back to the front and then through both of those loops. Switch strands, close the first knot down, switch strands again and close the second knot down over the top of the first. And then we just need to maneuver that knot up against our first one and tighten it down. Next we want to repeat this process over this side. Okay, first up we need to cut our loop. So find the center. And then cut the loop, come back to our carrick bend and now we need to tie our double connection knot. So starting with our bottom, go over the top, right around, form a loop. Tuck the working end through that loop and then pull it closed by pulling on the bottom part of the knot. Then using our top strand, we want to come underneath the center ones, grab the top strand, take it over, forming its own loop, bring that to the front, and take that working end through both loops. Switch strands, tighten the first knot. Switch strands again and tighten our second knot over the first. And then we just want to maneuver that knot closer to the carrot bend the same as this one over this side. So just loosen the knot off if you have to and then tighten it up again. Then again we want to cut off these two center pieces. So take the outer strands out of the way the two center strands and then singe them off with a lighter too. Press them nice and flat. And again tie another double connection knot here. So with the bottom strand come over, form a loop Tuck the working end through that loop and tighten it down. And then grab our other strand, come around the back, form its own loop, around the front, and then through both loops. Switch strands, tighten the first knot down, 
switch strands again and tighten the second knot over the first and then maneuver the knot close to the previous one Once you've finished off this center piece, we want to form a loop at one side. So first measure this off against your wrist and then pinch it off where you want your loop to be. And where you've pinched it off, just form a loop or just form a bite. Then take your other strand and then wrap it twice and then tuck the working end through the center of those two wraps and then just tighten that down and we want this top loop here to be about a centimeter or half an inch and before you tighten it right up, just measure it out against your wrist again just to see that you have the loop in the right spot so that looks pretty good there we can tighten this right up now and then we can cut these excess pieces off so we have our top one here cut and singe that one and you also have this bottom one here cut and singe that one off with a lighter So next we just need to tie a button down the bottom. So again, measure this out against your wrist and then pinch it off where you want your button. And then to tie the button, just want to form an underhand loop and then form an overhand loop tuck one side up through that right loop and the left side down through that left loop and tighten the button by pulling it directly outwards and now we just need to cut and singe these excess pieces so I've gone ahead and cleaned up the button and that's it, the finished Carrick Bend bracelet. If you have any comments, suggestions or requests, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.